Zoom has been busy in bringing out a lot of new features. And in this video, I'll take you through top 10 latest features, which you must know. Hey guys, my name is Deepak. And if you use any of the collaboration and productivity apps, then please consider subscribing. Every week, I'll try to bring on what's latest and how to use tutorials. So let's get started with Zoom top 10 new features. Number one in my list is dark mode on Windows. I cannot imagine Zoom didn't have dark mode in Windows until last month. Finally, Windows users can have dark mode and you, and you can enable it same way as a Mac user. So just go to your profile picture on the top right and settings. Here you can choose dark mode if you want to keep it that way for all your meetings or you can switch to system settings, which would make it zoom dark mode whenever your system switches to the dark mode. Next on my list is share computer audio to all breakout rooms. So hosts are now able to share computer audio along with share content to all of the breakout rooms open. This can be enabled when beginning to share or while sharing is in progress. Just click the share sound option as well to include audio with the share content and then choose share to all breakout rooms. All of the breakout room participants would be able to see and hear the video. Such an awesome feature to broadcast visual content along with your audio. You can also use video option found under advanced sharing tab to share play playback of a locally stored file which will also share the audio. You now get power of avatars in Zoom without even having to install a third party snap camera or any other virtual cameras. So inside a meeting, click up arrow besides video and choose video filter. Here you will see avatar beta option and you can select any of avatars of your choice. Just wait for five to 10 seconds and it would load up. This is only available in version 5.10 and above, and you may see list of avatars grow in future. Go ahead and make your meetings more fun. Next is live streaming to Twitch. This is only available for paid customers. So hosts can now live stream their meetings or webinars to Twitch directly, rather than manually configuring the stream as a customer, as a custom live streaming service. To enable it for a user in the navigation panel, click settings and in meeting tab under in meeting advance, scroll down and click allow live streaming of webinars toggle to enable it or disable it. Select the Twitch checkbox and click save to confirm the change. When starting your webinar or meeting in the meeting and webinar controls, click more and choose live on Twitch. Your default browser will open and you will be prompted to log into Twitch. Here, you just log in and give access to your Zoom account. Simple. Next in my list is presentation slide control. So control progression of presentation slides without needing to ask the host or participants sharing the presentation for next slide. So it supports presentation in Google Slides, PowerPoint and Keynote. Enable this feature inside your Zoom portal settings just type slide control and just turn on the toggle. Once enabled, you will get the slide control option inside your meetings and you can turn it on. Your participant would be able to flip the slides back and forth on their own. Just make sure the presentation you're sharing is in full screen mode. Otherwise, you won't see this slide control option. You can now add video to your waiting room. So users can add a video when customizing the appearance of the waiting room in the web portal. So participants in the waiting room are able to view the video while they wait for the host to allow into the meeting. So go to your Zoom portal settings in meeting advance, type waiting in the search bar and it would list the features related to the waiting room, enable waiting room option and then select customize waiting room. Here you can choose to show the default screen or a logo and text or a video. I have uploaded video file and it has to be less than 30 seconds. So participants will see the video playing when he's in the lobby and 
it's very useful so you can market your product and set a stage even before you're in the meeting zoom has now introduced a not join section in the participants panel of the meeting allowing host or co-host to see people who were invited but haven't joined the meeting so this feature requires host and users to have the calendar and contacts integration configured in their zoom profile you can turn on this feature in the zoom portal by going into settings and search for invite participants and turn on show invitee list in the participants panel once you're in the meeting and you click on participants you would be able to see participants who have not joined the meeting as well as their calendar response now you can create remove rename breakout rooms even after you launch breakout rooms so you no longer need to close the breakout rooms in order to rename add or remove additional rooms account owners and admins can enable this ability for hosts to create room and rename breakout rooms while they're open and in use just click breakout rooms and hover your mouse over a breakout room rename option will appear there you can rename and save it you can also click on add to add additional rooms to the existing breakout rooms simple such a lifesaver inside breakout so zoom now supports closed captions and live transcriptions very handy for accessibility users or even for the remote users so to zoom log into the zoom portal settings search for closed captions toggle closed captions and enable them also check allow live transcription to transcribe your meeting once you're in the meeting you will see live transcript option and click on it and just enable it all captions will appear in the middle of the screen you can also see the transcript in full screen click up the arrow besides the live transcripts and then view full transcripts you can go to your zoom portal recording section and also download the closed caption files to refer to it later on very handy when it comes to making automatic meeting notes all right the next one host can now schedule meetings with focus mode so focus mode essentially brings more focus to your meetings by allowing participants to see only the video of the host and if you want to know more about focus mode then watch my video link of the video is on the top and to allow scheduling meetings with focus mode go to settings in meetings advanced and check allow host to enable focus mode when scheduling now whenever host schedules a meeting he can go to advanced options and choose enable focus mode when the meeting starts so next time whenever the host starts a meeting it'll be in the focus mode all right folks this is it for today please do provide your feedback in the comment section and make sure you subscribe to my channel to get more on latest productivity and collaboration apps i'll see you in the next video ciao